guys, it's Ariana, and today I'm going to take you on a little adventure because I'm going to attempt to cook my favorite dish ever, sausage and broccoli rabi with pasta. I don't cook very often. I've only made this dish one other time by myself. I learned how to make this dish from my father, who was raised very old school Italian, very Italian dish, and I'm excited. So I'm going to show you guys how I kind of struggle in the kitchen sometimes, but I think it'll be good in the end. So let's go to the grocery store. All right. This is probably one of the only places in Rhode Island I know of that sells broccoli rabi, so I'm at Dave's now. Last time I made this dish, I was like, I'm obsessed with broccoli rabi, and I got way too much, so this time I'm only gonna get one. Thanks, that'll be plenty. because it's a very important piece of this dish. You need lots and lots of oil. Just getting that. I, yeah, I only have a little bit left at home, so. Literally my life in a sign. Gluten-free pasta. I see like I have seize, in case some of you guys don't know. So I'm getting the hot Italian because I love hot sausage, I love hot everything. And for my man, I got the sweet Italian because he can't do spicy things. So I also got, you need, I always um, dip the bread in the pasta and the oil. It's so good. And last time I made this, I've only made this one other time, I got like a whole loaf of bread for Nick and went to waste, so I'm just gonna get two things of these gluten-free rolls, because I think that'll be plenty. And then I know I won't go to waste after, because I'm sure I'll eat them at some point. It actually was really easy, because I have a lot of the ingredients at home, which is really convenient. So, I'm gonna go home now and get to work on everything. All right, so just got back to the condo. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is actually, because I said like I'm not really that good at cooking, I'm not very skillful in the kitchen, I'm gonna have Nick start the sausage because last time I tried to do that, I almost burned the house down because I put the heat on too high and the sausage <laughs> takes a while to cook. It's like cooking the smoke alarms went off. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I almost, I thought I was gonna burn the house down. He like left to go get wine and he comes back and the whole house is like smoking. So, I'm gonna wash the broccoli rabi to start because that takes a little bit and then I'll cut off all the rough ends and the sausage is going on right now too. I just use scissors to cut off the rough ends so I'll just take probably like a handful and just rinse them under the hot water. Make sure everything's off. Put it in the strainer when it's done so I know it's clean and I don't get confused. It's my ADD. I'll be like so lost. I never know like how much to cut, honest. Like last time I made this, I was like, oh, did I cut too much? Did I cut too little? I really don't know what the answer is to that. Like well, how I would figure that out. The broccoli rabi is all washed, put it in the strainer, got all the rough ends off. So now I'm gonna put the oil over the stove on low and I'm gonna add a little bit of red pepper and minced garlic. So that'll take probably 10 minutes or so to heat up, but then once I put the rabi in, it'll only take about like six minutes. So it's actually really easy to make, make once the oil gets heated up and everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. And this oil could not come out any friggin' slower if I wanted it to. Come on. Add a little bit more than that, and if I need more, I can always add some more too. I'm like so scared I'm gonna ruin my outfit with this. So that's about how much I'm gonna start off with. Um, last time I made it by myself, I put a little too much oil on everything, so I don't want to go crazy because it kind of bothered my stomach as well as Nick's. So some people are, I know, like extra sensitive to oily food. So now I'm just going to add a little bit of the, actually I should probably turn the stove on, shouldn't I? That would probably be a good idea. I'm going to use that and then I'm just going to add a little bit of red pepper. What is that? Re crushed red pepper. So good. And then just a tiny, tiny bit of minced garlic. Just very little because a little goes a long way. Perfect. I fucked up already. Um, 
I can't believe that I did this wrong, but I totally forgot that the oil should not be on high. I wasn't thinking when I put it on high, so I had to dump it out and start over again. Because I just looked over and it was like burning, and the whole house is already filled with smoke. Took the smoke detector up. Yeah, screens are open now. Let's try making the oil right again. <laughs> Thanks to him. Oh, God. This is where the smoke detector is. If you guys haven't already, follow me on Snapchat. It's actually just my full name, Ariana Reardon. It's spelled out in the info box below. But I document everything for like behind the scenes, just every day of like my daily life for when I'm not filming. Finally got it in. I have a little mishap because the Robbie was wet and we put the oil in and it just fucking exploded everywhere. Nick saved me, so basically, like, all I've learned tonight, again, like, reinforcing the fact that I need to be with someone who can cook. <laughs> it's still gonna come out good, because I do know what I'm doing, like, to a certain extent, but... Ugh, at least I can make pasta right, I know that. Alright, almost done. There's the sweet Italian sausage, hot Italian. The broccoli rabi, the pasta, and then I'm just cooking the rest of the pasta, heating up some rolls. I'm just waiting for the last batch of the pasta to finish up. So I'm gonna leave all of the ingredients in the info box below and actually the specific directions in case you guys ever wanna try out this recipe. I looked online one time just about like the nutritional facts about broccoli rabi because I personally like broccoli rabi. It's my favorite vegetable and I love it more than regular broccoli. And what I had read, I don't know if it's accurate, but I read online that it's supposedly one of the healthiest vegetables you can get, and it's also healthier than regular broccoli. Like I said, I could be wrong, but it's a little bit bitter, but I think it's absolutely delicious. I would totally recommend trying it if you guys are ever interested. You can add it to anything. I usually will, like, I'll add it to my rice bowls for the rest of the week until I run out. This is like the classic way to have it with the sausage and the pasta and the oil and everything. Rinse the pasta off. This is really delicious. I cannot wait. So, am I a master chef? No. But I had a lot of fun making this. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I'm going to show you everything now that goes into it. These bowls are like really inconvenient, but that's okay. Just drizzle that over, and then he can mix that in, and then if he wants, he can always come back and get some more as well. So I set everything up in the living room because I just want to like watch Empire and eat. Oh yeah. <laughs> so this is like our final thing. I'm going to take the black pepper. With our temporary TV. Yeah. And this is the final product. Looks delicious. Oh, I can't. So cool. I'm like so excited. I really should have eaten today, but I didn't. It is great when you dunk the bread in the oil too. Isn't it? Oh, it's, it's delicious. Why don't you demonstrate? Take the el bread. El bread out, Spanish for bread. Stir it up a little bit. Stir it up. Hold on. You have to get the oil like all over the pasta else. You just don't get like the right taste. Like, this meal is very texture based. So it may not look like anything too crazy, but it's pretty cool. So there you go. Dip it in the bread. See? So it's all wet and oily. The oil. Woo! How is it? Great. So far, take a bite yeah. of it. Be the taste tester. I need more cheese. Wow. Good? You did a good job. Thank you. Thank you. Better than the first time? Mm. Yes. Success. Good job. Same. It is very nice to cook for your significant other when they like really appreciate it. I will I say do. that. He does. He doesn't expect it. And he knows I'm not very useful anyways when it comes to cooking, so. I'm not that great cook either. You're better than me. I'm good at steak, that's it. Yeah. But I love steak. I'm a hoe for steak. I'm gonna try mine now. I was at the bottom. <laughs> oh, I put a little too much oil. Mmm. Ah, that is delicious. Thank you guys for joining me on this epic journey of me trying to cook in the kitchen. <laughs> Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'll always reply to your comments. In the meantime, I'm gonna hang out, eat. Be really happy and watch Empire. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.